the next on my list the next on my list is a dynamic young man he's from GRE Central Zone he's been in this ministry since 1994 give it up for Mr. Kentiemo Elijah give him a clap give him a clap Since 1994, uh, that is uh, 30 years ago. And so how old were you then when you came? I was four. I turned 34 this year. It was four years when the parents brought him. Can you imagine that? Give him a clap, prophet. So how has the journey been? Hallelujah. So we, we came from a care center. That was where we were worshiping before. And then we came to Mark okay. of Christ. I care. There was a yes, yes, yes. yes it, JJ yes. Longe. Yes, yes, yes. That's where we were before. And then we came to um, then Mark of Christ, the old hall. Um, I grew up from the children's department to the blessed generation, and then to the kingdom builders. Wow. Now, what you see me do when I stand to speak to people without fear, I learned that from the children's department in Voice of Freedom Ministries. Come on, give the Lord a clap, please. Now, in, in leadership, by the grace of God, I also learned that from the Blessed Generation Church. Thank God for Pastor Chris, who taught me then. And that's how I learned about leadership. And I remember in 2004 was when I started living with, with Papa, with Daddy. I remember the exact scenario that happened. I had an issue with my eldest sister, and she wanted to beat me. I ran away from the house without slippers. We were living then at Upper this were close to CGM. And I ran to Papa's house. And Mama wasn't at home. I met um, Captain Ima, I met Pastor Ama, and David, and Dr. Obi. And they were angry. Now, why does my sister want to beat me? They called Mama and said, Mama, we are going to fight Elisha's sister. <laughs> and Mama put them in the vehicle, and we, we drove back, you know, to my house. And before the Mama already spoke to me and told me, okay, let's go. Let's go and see your mom. And when we got there, it Instead of, you know, it being a brawl, Mama said, Elisha, go and apologize to your sister and apologize to your mother. And I did that. And Mama told my mother, please, Elisha will follow me back to the house this night so that he can spend the night. So that if there are any, you know, if there's any tension, it should die down, you know, by the next day. And from then, I began living, you know, with the, with the bishop. I left, went back home, obviously, and then came back, spent the weekend. And that was how Mama said, oh, yeah, you go start to live with us, so. And then in 2008, to be very precise, I got admission into Benson in Dahosa University. I remember one morning, my mom called and I was speaking with her on the phone. Papa just came out from his room. He was leaving for the office. And I said, ah, daddy, my mom wants to greet you. I just, I was in my first semester. And Papa took the phone from me and said, um, some of you know my mom, Dickie Nestiemo. And Papa said to her, um, madam, you see Elisha, I'm taking over his education. Take your hands off him. Papa paid for my, my, my university, Benson, the Hosa University. Of course, you know how much it is for you to school there. Papa paid for my education in Benson, the Hosa University. And, you know, a lot of things just, you know, continued from there. Now, the striking testimony I want to I, uh, use to close. I got married in, in 2021 here in Voice of Freedom Ministries. And in 2022, sir, during Freedom, we we're outside in front doing registration for food packs for people to collect food and my my wife is in the choir a lot of us know her i love her she left she told me she was coming she was going somewhere i didn't know that she said she had missed her period so she went to run a test and she got the result she came back she wasn't looking good what happened she said nothing i said okay no problem in 2023 on on the on the on the day uh, we had big day last year june 18th he said that i will never forget in my life June 18th is my birthday. And that day happened to be a big, uh, big day in the year 2023. And I was outside there standing waiting for the person who I invited for big day. And God told me every year, I take a seat to Papa and say, Daddy, today's my birthday. Speak a word over my life. And this particular day, the Lord told me, he said, that seed you always take to Papa. I said, double the seed. Between me and you, I didn't even have one naira that day. So where am I going to? I don't even have the seed I normally give. Now the Lord is telling me to double it. Where am I going to get it from? You know, I fought with it back and forth, and then somehow I just, you know, looked for the seed and I dashed straight to Papa's office and I said, Daddy, today's my birthday. And Papa said, 
this time next year, you'll be celebrating your birthday with your baby in your hand. And he said one word. I want you to hear that one. He said, I enforce it to come to pass, which means that no powers can contend with it. Now, in the process of my wife being pregnant, we had battles five straight months. Papa is away. In, in 2023, we had our youth camp, our national youth camp. My wife was in the hospital. I was in a camp venue with my youth. My wife was on admission, but I was in a camp venue. And ladies and gentlemen, that is somebody said that I've not been seeing your wife. They didn't say it to me, but I heard. said, I've not been seeing your wife. I've been in marriage, don't scatter. That was a statement because she wasn't coming to church because of what was going on with her with the pregnancy. But to the glory of God, my baby is three months plus and is in service today. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, give him a big clap for friend. From age four, from age four, 